This video will cover the topic, using a trigonometric ratio to find a side length in a right triangle. In this topic, we will be given the length of one side and the measurement of an angle. Does this mean we'll need to use the three major trigonometric ratios? That's exactly right. Let's review these ratios. Say we have a right triangle with angle theta. We know that sine theta equals the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse, cosine theta equals the length of the adjacent side over the length of the hypotenuse, and tangent theta equals the length of the opposite side over the length of the adjacent side. Knowing these ratios allows us to solve for a missing side length in a right triangle. Let's take a look at an example problem. In this problem, we are given the length of the side opposite the angle, and we need to find the hypotenuse. So this means we'll use the sine ratio, right? That's right. We can substitute in our known values, and solve for x. Using our calculator, we see that the length of the hypotenuse is approximately 17.0. Let's try one more problem. In this problem, we are given the length of the side opposite the angle, and we need to find the adjacent side. Okay, so this means we'll use the tangent ratio, right? Exactly. We can substitute in our known values, and solve for x. Using our calculator, we see that the length of the adjacent side is approximately 6.4. Okay, so to find a missing side length in a right triangle, we need to use our given information to determine the trigonometric equation to use. From here, we can substitute in our known values and solve for x. That's exactly right. Great work!